October is also Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Jennifer recently talked with Dr. Trudy Pieper on important measures women can add to their daily lives. Well, our health topic today is the breasts. Yes, both men and women have them, of course, but women need to pay probably most attention to them since breast cancer is definitely an issue that affects so many people. Dr. Trudy Pieper is joining us to talk about keeping breasts healthy, preventive, proactive things that can be done to help us prevent some things down the road. Absolutely, and your point about breast cancer is so important here, Jennifer. It is the lead, leading cause of, of breast cancer for women is, for cancer mm. is breast cancer. So we, as women, really need to be thinking about, you know, how can we prevent breast cancer? The best way is making sure that we have our lymphatic system working well. And the lymph glands, um, there are more, there's more fluid in our lymph glands than any place else in our mm. body and we tend not to think about that. And at, between each cell is a fluid, and it's so the lymph is outside of the cells and it acts as a liaison between the cells and the blood. And the lymph manufactures the majority of our white blood cells, which fight off all the invaders that come into our body, our viral and bacterial infections. And the lymph, it's really the, the transportation system for waste. Hmm. And it pulls the, the waste out of our body into the blood where it takes it to the liver, the kidneys, and the colon then to get rid of. So a healthy breast depends upon the cleansing action of our lymph system. Anybody who has had a cancer scare or who has dealt with breast cancer has definitely heard about the lymph nodes yes. or any sort of cancer. And my mother is a cancer survivor. And I remember we were praising God back those years ago, knowing that the cancer hadn't gotten into her lymph nodes. So here we have this lymph system that um, doesn't pump like a circulatory system, but yet needs to be, needs to be filtered and flushed through. Right, and since we don't have a, a pump like the heart, and circulatory. The way we flush that out is the movement is when we move, our lymphs move. So for the best way for you to clean out your lymph system is you have to move your body. Now a mini tramp is probably the absolute positively best mm. way if you're, you're bouncing, mm -hmm. then that moves the lymph through. But there are other ways. Brisk walking four times a week for 20 minutes will create healthier breasts. Drinking plenty of water, six glasses a day will actually help you flush those toxins through your kidneys and get rid of them. Increasing your fiber to at least 20 grams a day will remove the waste through the colon. But interesting enough, you know, women are always thinking about their weight. Right. If you're doing 20 grams of fiber, you're also going to lose weight. So mm. there's another added benefit <laughs> to making sure you need fiber in your system. Broccoli, which is a cruciferous vegetable, has been found as the number one vegetable to prevent breast cancer. So adding some broccoli at least every week to your diet. Does that diet. mean broccoli with cheese sauce? Or should it just be uh, steamed broccoli it's or raw a steam, broccoli? A steamed broccoli, raw broccoli, maybe with a little dip or a little butter on it. But yes, the, you need to keep it in its richest form so the nutrients are still there. And then finally, um, limiting your carbs. Uh, this is one that's really important. I see a lot uh, in today with my patients. Um, particularly those with breast cancer, they ate a lot of carbs, mm -hmm. which includes sugar, and mm -hmm. sugar feeds cancer. So women who eat more carbs are twice as likely to get breast cancer wow. than those who do not. Wow. So cut back on your carbs, your pastas, your breads, um, anything that is a carbohydrate, which is a complex carbohydrates, are, are just as bad as simple sugars to do that. And your final one on your list is your favorite. You Everybody hear about knows. it all the time. <laughs> green tea. <laughs> Three glasses of green tea a day will protect against estrogen dominant cancer in mm. your lymph system. That's important. I mean, we hear about green tea for so many important reasons, but that's a real poignant fact that it I would is. think would convince a lot of people, a lot of women, to drink green tea. And the green tea should be used with stevia, a little tiny bit of honey, but again, we want to make it so that you're not. Uh, adding carbs, sugar, mm. to your diet. So try to learn that without sugar in it. All right, so ladies, you heard it. More movement means healthier breasts. Maybe you do have a mini trampoline and you can do some jumping on that every day, but a lot of us don't have one of those. We've got a lot of other very good, easy things to do. Brisk walking, plenty of water, increased fiber, eat your broccoli, limit your carbs, and three glasses of green tea a day. Of course, if you ever have questions about this or want to learn more, you can contact Dr. Trudy Pieper at Phoenix Wellness Center in Johnstown, Ohio. You can look her up online as well at phoenixwellnessforyou.com and there you can see the phone number 
right on your screen. Dr. Trudy, thank you very much for this very important information. A lot of women out there could definitely use this. I appreciate it very much. My extreme pleasure. Thank you, Jennifer. And back to you.